So today I bring something to you very special, Greenwich, Connecticut Compass meets New York City Compass. I have a special guest with me checking out Greenwich, Ryan Garson. Michael. Ryan Garson. I made it. Yes, you it made it. It feels good, the air is fresher in Greenwich. Isn't it? Yeah, it feels so, good. So I'm gonna give Ryan some information on Greenwich, Connecticut in Fairfield County. Uh, he's never been, right, first time. It's a little embarrassing, uh, uh, 10 years in New York, and I just stay in New York, and I hear about the neighborhoods, you know, what's going on in Connecticut, in New Jersey, yeah. and like these surrounding New York City markets, and I wanna connect them with the right agent that can service them the way that I would. So let's walk and talk a little yeah, bit, cool? Yeah, sure. All right, so right now we're downtown, we're, at, we're coming off of 200 Greenwich Avenue, this is our Compass office, which is a beautiful office. Um, we are on Greenwich Avenue, so, Greenwich Avenue is the hot spot in Greenwich. This is everything you could imagine as far as stores, from jewelry to art, some of the best food. We have Bistro V, Mediterrano, Terra. This is the place to go and shop and have a good time and entertain. So Greenwich, just kind of given the um, really high view down, is such an amazing place in that it's in Fairfield County, but it's the largest town in Fairfield County, and it's the closest proximity to New York City. And the three biggest reasons why people would wanna to come to Greenwich is gonna be lifestyle, the taxes, and then obviously the commuter friendliness of being 45 minutes in New York City. Almost every one of these little neighborhoods that I mentioned, completely different price points, different styles of houses, have train stations that you can get right to New York City if you needed to. But by car, 45 minutes. And so it's so desirable for so many people who want to have the ability to get to New York City to work, but still want to have that kind of suburb living. My first time that I got here, I'm from New York originally, from the city, and then we moved upstate New York. And when I first got to, to Connecticut and then to Greenwich, my eyes were just opened of the, the culture because it's such a big town. Wow. I love a good <laughs> top three. Yeah. Lifestyle, yep. taxes, and commute. Yep. Um, you know, I think you really nailed it. For somebody like coming to Greenwich and really, you know, just hearing so much about it, um, you know, I really, I think the one thing that I know when I talk to my clients, it's space. Yeah. You know, people, you know, they want a house with a yard and a pool. Um, and I feel like this, this Greenwich Avenue kind of has that like, that community, that city feel, oh, yeah. that, you know, walking down all the, you know, restaurants and art galleries yeah. and, and fashion stores. Like there's just, I feel like there's a lot going on. Here. Yes, it's a lot. There's, there's a downtown feel, but also it feels like substantial, classy, and it feels important. And Greenwich is known for that. So let me ask you, if you were gonna move up here, wink, um, would you like a house that's more got the antique, more colonial style, which Greenwich definitely has a lot of that beautiful classic colonial transitional inside, or a little bit more modern contemporary style? It's a tough question. Um, well, I do live in a modern sky rise. Okay. Uh, in Manhattan, Upper West Side. Um, so probably something a little bit more modern, like finishes are really important to cool. me. Like I would be into a colonial, but it would have to be mint. Okay. Gotcha. So why don't we go check out one that's in Riverside. So Riverside, Old Greenwich, and Coscob are kind of the big three that are close to downtown. So let's go see something brand new construction yes. and see what you think. All right, my wife, uh, you know, she might be tempted. I mean, but come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, where to? 59 Summit. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's check out this new construction in Riverside. Look at, she looks friendly. She's waving. Look, look, well, waving to everyone. She's a plant. Wait, are we just... gonna get a lot of that? A lot of friendly? Oh yeah, we hired counties. a lot of actors just to wave to you. You're like, ah, oh, this is the oh, friendliest. Ryan Garson. We friendliest city down in here. all of yeah. Connecticut. Yeah, I mean, it's such a great array of yeah, restaurants too. You can be a too. foodie, whatever. I mean, it, it's, it has it all. It's charming. It, it reminds me of the Hamptons. Yep. But, but you're gonna see the guys in business suits as well. You know, it's, there's, this is obviously a very high-end area. And then I think the carriage house where those antique cars are, the Ferraris and everything are down here. Lexus is right here. 
um, on the same road as Ferrari, Lamborghini, Aston Martin. McLaren. Not a lot of Ferraris in Manhattan. No, not a lot of Ferraris in Manhattan. Not, not a lot of open road. Definitely the car of Greenwich, I would say. The sports car of Greenwich is absolutely the Ferrari, without a doubt. And then I'd say it goes Ferrari, Bentley, and Tesla's all over now. G-Wagons. Um, back to what I was saying, the marketing, New York City versus the suburbs. So here, when we market, obviously the house plays a huge thing, but it's all about the lifestyle. So the town that they live in, the safety, the schools, um, if that property's highest and best, you know, lifestyle usage is waterfront, is it the yard, is it the, lo you know, what is it? We focus so much on lifestyle around the property, and then we get people super excited about the actual property. That's a, that's a huge part of it. I feel like it would be opposite. Like, you know, coming from the city, I feel like that's all about like lifestyle, you know? Yeah. How close are you to the parks, to the subways? Yep. How are the schools? What restaurants are there? What are the coffee shops? And I'm talking about like a couple blocks radius. Yeah. You know, with, with Greenwich, like I feel like house, like, you know, how many square feet is it? Is it on an acre? Is there a pool? Like, yeah, you know, sure. like all of that to me, I think is that really what gets gets me excited. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I hear you. It's I think it sounds like it's wherever you live, it, it's about the lifestyle. So we're on Steamboat right now, right on by Indian Harbor Yacht Club. We actually did in that uh, that yacht club right there. Mm -hmm. We actually filmed the most expensive condo in the state of Connecticut, which is a little under five million dollars. So it was a first floor condo that just sold. Next time we're gonna go out on the boat or yeah, what? Yeah, we'll take the dinghy out. We'll do the Duffy. Are you into boating? No, seasick, but I'll do it for you. Ooh, we got an open house. There you go. This is it. That's it? This is the house. Oh, so should I park right in there? Yeah, we could park right in there. Let's reverse it there. Oh, you could park right maybe right on the side there. Beautiful fall day. Yeah. Got the leaves everywhere. So when you come up here, I know you're not the most handy, but you think you'll mow some lawns and, and do the leaves? Nah, I'll probably hire someone. Yeah, for yeah. We've got plenty of landscapers for you. We're going into a broker open house right now with New York City broker, Brian. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so just like any great open house, free food, free drinks, you know, it's for the broker. But this, like, open concept, beautiful ceilings, lot of glass windows, natural light. Again, we, we just said. I'm surprised by yeah. all the glass. Like, I feel like you don't see like floor to ceiling windows in like the dining room. I mean, there's so much light yeah. that is like coming in through this house. I mean, and it, it really has like a New York City feel with this like island and you know, the open layout yep. and the oak floors. Yep. Like this is a really beautifully done house. Like this large plank white oak floor, this blonde look is really in right now. But it's, it's the idea that you get the grass and you get the property and it's all fenced in with that country suburbs feel. Yeah, even the fireplace is so modern and masculine. Yep, yep. I mean listen, how many Christmas, Hanukkahs, You, you know, know what holidays? I have? I have to like seasonally like remove stuff out of my house and put it in a storage unit, so. Do you have to have a know. storage unit? I have, yeah, I have like a whole storage unit like that I have like seasonally. I, wait, is this the second? Yeah. This How is, cool is this? Wow. So coffee, whatever right there, microwave, and then boom, double fridge. Very cool. So you might want to FaceTime your wife and tell her. Nah, I'm not, no. not FaceTiming her that. Be won't, won't be good. Even this <laughs> handle, like the fixtures, woof. So how do you feel about a house in the suburbs that has something like this with the tempered glass look, which is becoming more and more of a kind of looking modern. Yeah, no, also. I love it. I think the combo of the glass and the, the oak is yeah. it's modern, it's cool, it's in, uh, it's it's gorgeous. Yeah. All right, where to next? Yeah, let's keep going. Lead the way here. Now, where you live now, do you have a second floor? No. Because everything is just kind of one floor. Yeah. And you have a little girl, right? Yep. Okay. And how many bedrooms do you have at your place now? Two bedrooms. So two bedrooms. So you and two your Two bedroom, two and a half baths, 1,500 square foot. So, so I have all the amenities you can think of. So you have all the amenities in your building. Yeah. And for the same price, this is what you would have. But you wouldn't have, you have amenities in the house, but you still have to go drive to different places. Yeah. Are you asking me which I would like, which yeah. I like better? Yeah. New York City. I like my house better. No, Sorry. No way. <laughs> Sorry. Where are we? 40,000 square feet of amenities. I have a cantilever pool. 
Very cool stuff. You have a cantilever pool. Yeah, me, we, and, we me and the rest of my neighbors. Me and the rest of my neighbors. All right, well check out this room in this bathroom. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is like my, wow. <laughs> These ceilings are out of control. I, this I mean, is it's cool. No, it's no New York City, you know, apartment, <laughs> but. I like those beams too. This yeah. is really, really nice. Um, you know what, it's like charming and new. Yeah. The architecture and the build, materials, all the stuff really makes it so appealing. And all the, the windows, like. Natural light, right? Wow, yeah, this Sick. is definitely, this is a showstopper right here. Yep. So I love when builders and developers get super trendy and try to take some risks. So bedroom, and then right here is a makeup area, closet space that kind of cuts into the bathroom. This is, I haven't seen too many like this. Like yeah. This being the shower and the tub. Okay, I feel so like that's- he set me up there with like, what do you like better? And then he shows me this, this primary bedroom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is really meant. This is gorgeous. And I, I really like how they did it too. Like there is definitely some like architectural like inside and taste behind oh, it. Oh, for sure. sure. And so even this, like all the frames. Yeah. So this is another big trend of these like kind of tempered glass walls that you're seeing a lot more and a lot of open stuff. So how many of these new constructions do we go into Mike that have like one big room and it'll have a tub and the shower as one big open space. They're making basically like a spa feel kind of come in here. Yeah, and the high ceilings too. Yeah. Like I, like, you know, no, like this is, what do they call it like when it's like kind of like that where the ceilings are like that? Like the, you know, like double like a, a pitched roof like that? Yeah, like how a it's double like. Double height ceiling? Oh, yeah. um, Like how it's like a uh, triangle. It's cathedral. Cathedral. So. cathedral. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's cool. So we were just talking about, which is really, really important. In this area in Connecticut, single family, you're dealing a lot. Anytime you're dealing with new construction or even just a regular home and you're looking to add things like pools and uh, another another auxiliary house or something like that or a cottage or something it's all about you're conforming or not conforming lot like if you wanted to add a pool here you have setbacks certain distance from the train or from the road that you can do things so it's really how much you can do on your lot is really important and especially if you're going to be doing like a build interesting definitely a different market so Ryan, thank you so much for coming out to Greenwich. It was an honor to take you out and tour you of some property and Greenwich Avenue. What'd you think? Oh my God, I loved it. It's a beautiful town. The property here is unbelievable. It's new, it's charming. And Greenwich Ave, like I can, I wouldn't want to leave this. Yeah. It's a great little strip. Well, I loved having you out. Um, I am so excited to come to New York City and then you could tour me of what's going on totally. out there. Well, and, uh, you set the bar really high yeah. because you are an encyclopedia <laughs> of real estate and you're one hell of a marketer. Uh, well, thanks, man. And I appreciate all the work that you do. And everybody, where can they check you out? Uh, Ryan G, Sales NYC, uh, the very social broker. And I feel like this relationship is all about like compass to compass agents. Yeah. Like, having a relationship and being able to like connect with each other so we can help our clients all over the country. Yeah, I want to say thank you to Compass for all the great things that they provide to us in the platforms, the support to the management and uh, getting the opportunity for guys like us and markets like us to meet. So from Greenwich, Connecticut to New York City, thank you again, Compass. And thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, take care. Thank you guys. Awesome. All right, cool.